Hey folks, today we are on an adventure to Central Florida to go hunt for wild monkeys. You heard me right, we're hunting for wild monkeys. This is something absolutely bizarre. A lot of people in Florida don't even know that there's monkeys that live here. And there's some interesting stories about these monkeys and I want to share them with you. But we're going to end up packing up all our kayaks and I'm meeting up with the YouTube channel Seasick and we're going to go see if we can't find some. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit about the story. So I highly encourage you guys to stick along in this video and maybe you'll learn something new. Let's go. And just like that, our adventure was underway to uncover the Florida monkey. We had heard about the existence of a Florida monkey, but not many Floridians seemed to know anything about it. So we were determined to prove the existence of the Florida monkey and to better understand the story of how it got to Florida. I think we have to at least assess the monkey situation, maybe. Is it that way that we go? I think we're supposed to go that way. Well, where is the But they all went that way. The current has to be going that way. The current is going that way because that thing's drifting that way. approaching areas where I think there's some monkeys. Another monkey right to your left, up in the tree. There's a monkey right above you. After spending an extensive period of time navigating the beautiful waters and appreciating all of the nature along the way, we came across a spot in the trees where shadowy figures were leaping from the limbs and crawling down to the banks to greet us. These were the rhesus macaques, the monkeys of Florida. And we finally found them. What was once a rumor is now proven fact. They do exist. How did they get here though? That's what many people don't know. Well, they came from Captain Tui. Captain Tui brought them here because he ran a jungle cruise. He wanted to create the ultimate experience for his tourists. And in 1932, Tarzan the Ape Man movie became an incredibly big hit. And so he thought, I'll bring some monkeys to Florida, I'll put them on an island in the springs, and I'll run a tour boat through there. But they left the island because they knew how to swim. And so he put some more on the island, and next thing you know, they reproduced, 
and they spread throughout the whole entire Ocala National Forest. These monkeys happen to carry a herpes B virus, although no transmissions have occurred to humans, but they still do pose a risk because they can occasionally become territorial. So some local officials want to take the invasive monkey and they want to remove them. I really don't think that's fair. Personally, they've been here since the 1930s. No incidence of transmission of herpes B has occurred. And quite honestly, I am more invasive to Florida than they are. I've only lived in Florida for five years. When I was leaving the monkeys, I was pushing off this tree and I noticed this large snake. Comment below if you know what kind of snake this is. Well, we were just seeing tons of wildlife down in this area. I mean, right now, there's a gator right behind me, literally. They're just everywhere. There's gators, there's monkeys. This place has manatees. I'm having a blast. This is the best adventure that I've ever had. So we finally are ending our journey and we're getting close to our exit point. Here's a look at C6 camera. Jetta, is your fun meter on full? Yay. <laughs> the pedal kayak's in tow mode at this point. So Seasick got the idea to be able to tow his daughter using the ocean kayak. And it worked out pretty well. Uh, Jetta looks like she's quite relaxed there. So we're getting close to the exit point where we take our kayaks out and at that exit point we actually have a kayak taxi service that will come and pick up our kayaks and bring it back to the place where we launched. It was a pretty convenient deal and it only cost us about six bucks per kayak. Here's a look at what we did the next day. So on day two, Seasick, his family, and myself went to go swim with manatees. We could do this at Crystal River. They had a little charter that went out and we were able to hop in the water and I actually took some of this footage with my iPhone. I was trying out a new dive housing for the iPhone and I'll have it linked in the video description below but it's pretty cool because you can use your touch screen underwater. So after that awesome swim with the manatees we ended up heading over to Rainbow River which was a few miles down the road. Rainbow River was ultra clear and it never disappoints. I love diving in Rainbow River. Here I am with my scuba gear and here's seasick. You'll notice my scuba gear looks pretty different compared to probably traditional scuba gear you're used to. You'll notice it's a full face mask. That's because it's the OTS Guardian. This full face mask is awesome. Once you go to one of these, you're not gonna wanna go back to anything else. It never fogs up, and it's what I use to do a lot of my fossil hunting for that reason. Here is the Bixby Sea Scooter. I packed one of them along, and I also packed my Lafitte S1 other dive scooter that I recently got. The Lafitte S1 is a twin thruster in this configuration, but it also can be used in a single thruster configuration. And you can actually buy it as a single thruster. And as a single thruster, it comes in at $599, and it's a little over a thousand bucks if you want two thrusters. This company promises that they're going to be coming out with a bunch of different mounts for their motors, kind of like what Bixby is here. Bixby has a bunch of different mounts. I use the Bixby with my kayaks, with my paddle boards. The motor just slides off of that little handheld mount and it slides right onto kayaks and paddle boards. It's awesome. So Lafitte is claiming that they're gonna be doing the same thing. And I'm pretty excited to see what they come up with. Right now they're ahead of the game with the diving industry because they have a lot of mounts for diving. Bixby currently has only the one mount for diving, but Bixby is winning on the side of paddle crafts. They have tons of mounts for paddle crafts. You'll notice I keep the sea scooter clipped to my chest. That actually is really nice for sea scooters because then the sea scooter pulls on your vest and not on your arms as much. So after this, we ended up getting out of the water and I start packing my gear up to head home. This trip was a blast. I 
love the Florida Springs. I highly encourage if you're going to be making a vacation out of Florida and you're going to be visiting the area, consider checking out some of the various springs across the state.